Good evening, my friends. Good evening. Good evening. It is a pleasure to come into your circle once again, to leave with you one or two ideas that might be of help to you in your journey through life. We have been standing, listening to what you have been discussing, and we thought that you had touched upon very many things, some of which you have just an inkling, others you have more understanding. It is true that your life upon the earth plane is most important for you at this stage of your existence, but it does not mean that because you are concentrating upon your earth life, that you must neglect the things of the spirit. You must always remember that you are a spirit in a body of flesh, functioning in a world of matter, but you are also spirit here and now. It is impossible for you to live upon the earth plane without dealing with the things of earth. Your life here would be of no use to you if you shut yourself away and meditated and thought upon things of the spirit exclusively. There must be a balance between the things of the spirit and the things of earth and neither of them is more important than the other. It is just that, for a short while, you are I imprisoned in a body of matter, subject to the physical limitations, dealing with the things of earth as they come along, taking your part in the evolution of your world. There are signs, if you look for them, of the revival upon your earth plane of a spiritual awareness. And even though it may seem to you at times that spirit is very far away, remember that the spirit which functions within you also functions within everything that has breath, every phase of life upon the earth plane. You know that there are many worlds. Your scientists have begun to explore. Your men of literature have begun to imagine and to write about life upon other worlds. But always they are limited by their physical experience. And even though you can look into the smallest atom of matter and discover its components, even so you cannot see the spirit that functions within it. There is so much that you have got to learn, and such a lot that we cannot teach you, we cannot explain it. Not only are there no words in your language, but you would not understand. All we can do is to assure you that you are surrounded with love and that as you send out thoughts of love, both to the peoples upon the earth plane, the peoples upon the other worlds, the souls who are in the next stage of existence, so that love will sustain and help you. It is the most important thing, love. Spirit is love. Your Bible puts it as God is love, but it also says God is a spirit. And so the one means the other. 
that word is used in your language in so many different forms and it means so many different things to different people. But when we speak about loving your fellow men and women, we want you to share their experiences, to know that what you feel inside yourself is the same as they feel, that the aspirations, the hopes, the thoughts that you have are the same as other people have. You are not unique apart from the fact that you are at a different stage of your existence from anybody else. But all mankind is on a path of pilgrimage, a path of exploration. All mankind is beginning to work its way back to God. And not only mankind, but everything that has life. if you look upon your world and realize that it is just one small speck in a myriad of specks and that those myriad of specks are again one small group amid a myriad of larger groups. So you will begin to appreciate that you cannot possibly understand the whole meaning of life. All you can do is to accept the fact that you are spirit working upon the earth plane, living here in a body of matter in order that you may learn lessons from the circumstances with which you come into contact. If you remember that you serve God by serving your fellow men and women. If you remember that life is everlasting, that it is progression, that it is love, then you will find that you can walk your pathway firmly upon the earth plane understanding why you are here and looking forward to when you leave this stage and begin the next. There are lots of people upon earth who need your help, who need your prayers. Whatever gifts that you have, use them in the service of mankind knowing that you are using them in the service of God. Your little circle meets week by week and each time you send the light out into the darkness you are helping. Each time you send out thoughts of healing you are helping. Each time you send out thoughts of love, you are helping. We do not ask you to condone the evil that is in your world. We do not ask you to accept the things that are being done upon your earth plane. We ask you only to remember that whoever perpetrates those ills there is still the God, the Spirit of God within them and whoever it is, they will have to work it out. If not on this earth, then when they get to spirit. So give the evildoers your love. Look upon them as being blind, as seeing things in a, through a veil as looking upon life from a different angle from you. Do not be complacent about your own standing. Know that there is very little done upon your earth plane 
that is done from a purely wicked standpoint. There is evil. There is destruction. There is hatred and bitterness. But always there is still the spirit within. We leave these thoughts with you, giving you our blessing, praying that as you go through your daily pathway, you will always find some help, some love, some comfort that you can give to others. Good night, and God bless you. God bless you.